In this video, you are going to introduce Perlin Noise to create this. As you can see, I've made this smoothly shaped sphere using an instance of the icosahedron geometry. To ensure the waves look as smooth as possible, I set the detail to 30. I've also enabled wireframe mode for better visualization, and these are a couple of uniforms that I'll use in both the fragment and vertex shaders. The resolution uniform will determine the colors of the blob, and time will be employed for animation in the vertex shader. Now, the idea is pretty simple, we'll animate the positions of the vertices using Perlin Noise. However, there is a challenge, as GLSL lacks a built-in function for generating Perlin Noise values, so we'll either need to create it ourselves, or borrow it from someone who already has. That being said, for this demonstration, I'll go with the second option, by using Ashima's WebGL Noise. Now, I'm going to copy this segment of code from Classic Noise 3D GLSL and paste it into the vertex shader. Then we have two options, the C noise which takes one vec3 input or the P noise function which takes two inputs. In this example, I'll use the latter. That done, in the vertex shader, I'm going to call pnoise to generate a random value and use it to calculate the amount of displacement to be done on the vertex. Then we need to apply that displacement to the vertex taking into consideration its normal, in other words, the direction of that vertex. Next, I'll pass the new position value to GL position resulting in the sphere having a rough surface. To animate this, I'll add time to the first argument of the noise generation function. To increase the roughness, I'll multiply the generated value by another factor. For the colors, I'll use values based on the resolution. And to add a finishing touch, we can incorporate some rotation. And with that, we come to the end of this video, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.